there, it's Chrissy here from Scottish Magpie. I have my second bag of um, jewellery from the charity shop, $5.99. Um, so we'll just get started. Found a good bit in the in the last bag, a good bit of silver. I wasn't expecting it at all because I've been noticing, you know, they're, they're doing well noticing their they're silver. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this. Oh, it's broken. Oh, that's a shame because look at the detail in this. Yeah, there's no, there's no saving that. Oh. oh, that's a shame. But that's a phenomenal, would have been at one point a phenomenal necklace. Oh, I would have loved to have worn that for Christmas. I think so. We have another one. It's so be broken. Oh, we have two. <gasps> right, okay. Okay. So here we are. So these are tiny little glass seed beads and this is an extraordinary amount of work. Look at the size of it. I mean, I just love unique jewellery like this. I love beads. I love gemstones, glass. The, just the way people can fashion these things. Using no metal. No precious metal needed. It's, I mean, look at this one. Again. Oh, I'm just so happy with these already. The weight, the weight of these just two necklaces. But, yeah, fabulous pieces. Again, you've just got that outfit and you just need this popping necklace. I mean, your necklace is could be your outfit when they're this big and this, you know, you could wear just black and have this. You know, you're fancy Nancy all of a sudden. Okay, so we're loving those. Now we have a, a turquoise bead done the exact same way. These aren't real turquoise, they'll be glass. Seed beads the same. Love it. Three. Would have been four, but this baby broke. But yeah. I mean, those colours are lovely. But anyway, let it go. These are lovely. And then here's another collar one. Yeah, it's a wee bit broke there, isn't it? I don't know if I'd be able to do anything with that to hold the beads in. But this is really pretty as well. I don't know if that's in there on you. Yeah, this is lovely. But I don't know if I can fix this. Hmm. I'll maybe put this into craft. I might do like a really nice high end craft lot. You know, with these. Sorry, I just lost the camera there. Sorry. These and the pearls from my last lot and, you know, like just the higher end of the crafty craft craft. Like, you know, just a nicer craft lot than just plastic crap. So these are glass magnet closure. They're nice. I like the colour. They're nice. And then this is Jasper, I believe. It's nice and cold. Very nice. Lovely beads. I don't think that's meant to... Maybe it is. Like, hook into that bit. I don't think it is. It's because that's a fish class, isn't it? Um, 
you know what? I'll be able to take that um that bit out and stick just a normal you know hinged hook on there and then just a jump ring on the other side just to make it a bit neater so yeah we'll keep that and I'll fix that one myself for a bundle so it's it's decent this is nice these are glass Closed back. There's no name. And that fold over clasp. Looks nice. Yeah, this is lovely. Nice deep red. Okay. And this one. Um, I mean it's a statement piece, but it's it's plastic. And it's wood. Um, it's fine, I suppose. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my style, I suppose. But I'll put it in a bundle and see what's what. This one. My goodness, very um, brutalist, shall we say? I don't know if it's meant to be like, like a rough metal or if it's worn. So I'm going to put that into craft. We have a real hematite necklace with. Rose quartz or some sort of quartz, maybe clear, but it might just be the very pale rose. And a nice twist barrel clasp. So this one isn't magnetic, as you can see. Like they don't they don't stick together, they don't want to stick together. So this is the natural hematite stone. And to also, the way you can tell it's natural, well, you, you wouldn't want to do it on this because you wouldn't want to break it, but if you had like just hematite beads, loose beads, and you wanted to see are these actual hematite, you can smash them down between two rocks, like to so just get the bead and smash it down. And it's actually like powdered iron on the inside. It's, it's red. It's dark red, brown, irony colour on the inside once it's smashed down if you put it against white paper you can see so these are nice definitely put them in a bundle oh we have a nice banded amethyst just a, it's not drilled or anything so it's just a precious a precious gem and then here this shell discs and plastic pearls I'm gonna stretch it. I'll probably put that into craft. And then there's nothing in that one. What time we're only at eight minutes, so I'm gonna open a delivery that I got today. Um pop that cover up. So I think these are brooches and I yeah. I paid four pounds for yeah there's some brooches here yeah I paid four pounds for these for this lot and there is more than brooches but I remember it was the brooches I wanted so let's have a look see it was this one I liked so I'm going to leave you till the end just, just a little teaser Okay, so oh, these are nice. These are mother of pearl shell. Um, oh, that one's broken. They're on nine two five as well. Yeah, they're on nine two five. So.
don't know if the chain is though. It doesn't look like it is. No. Chain's not. Okay. I don't trust myself, so I'm just gonna. No, the chain's not. The chain is not silver. Okay. It's not gone red. It goes like a nice nice bloody red. Okay, so the chain's not silver. But I believe the top of the pendant is. Yeah. I can't get you. So then, that is sterling because if you can see it goes red. See me if it... Can you see the red? See, it kind of, it'll congeal at the bottom. There we go. That's it's congealing red. So, yeah. But one of them has snapped. That one. That one's okay. I'm not sure what I'll do with these. I'm not sure. I'll hold on to them for now. And then let's go in here. We have a koala gold tone pen. We have a no name birdie. And just a little pen. Thomas the Menace. Four leaf clover by Camco. I'm not sure. And we have feet, three feet. Trying to see if this is anything. Mm, I don't think so. There's three feet pin, that's bizarre. Just an awareness pin and another awareness pin. Okay, so the bird and the feet and the one with the name on it. And I'll put these into craft. Okay, that's that done. Here is just some beads, more just plastic earrings, and just some cheapy plastic beads. Um, I'll probably just craft them. Here is a gold tone brooch. I have a few gold tone brooches that could probably go in with them for a bundle. Okay. 
clear no m and m and uh just earrings and a necklace it's in okay condition no stones missing so I could maybe just put that in a bundle. Okay. More beads. So wooden and plastic beads, but this one's quite scraped down here, so I'll probably put that to craft. And then this is a set wooden with like a copper tone. Um, I'll probably just craft that. Um, <laughs> a pin, a safety pin brooch. An unusual design, like metal, woven metal. Beads, but I'll put that in a bundle. And this one is just a probably Sony brooch. It's usually done by Crown and Fish, Fish and Crown, but you'll have a picture of a fish in a crown. Something like that. So let's go for a new that's a nice gold tone brooch. No name. No. But it's a nice colour. So we can put that with our Brooches. Okay. We have a necklace. One earring. Did I put one other earring away or is it not here? These look like nice pieces of turquoise or malachite or. I'm not sure where's the other earring. I wonder if it's just not here. Maybe not. No. Can't make all the bags. I'll have another look. Um in a wee while, but that's nice. The necklace is nice. I don't think these designs are sterling. I think they're a uh, lower quality silver. I need to know. No, it's going like. No, you'd, it's not even having a hint of red, but I cannot remember the name of this style. It's a Peruvian or I can't remember. It's nice though. It's in nice condition. It's a shame there's only one earring. I'll hold on to that in case I find another earring. Um, because you never know. And then in Heather, we have Monet. So we have Monet earrings. There's no Monet written at the back of any of them, though. That's really lost its colour. Yeah, Monet. So a Monet set, I think I'll craft that because it's lost its colour, but we'll keep these. But these are on gold tone and then the necklace is silver tone, so what is? I'll put it in a bundle. And then the whole thing that I bought the bundle for was I saw this little guy. And he is 925. It's written 925 there, but he looked 925 even in the photos. Let's test you. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's there's the red you're looking for. Can you see? The, this camera is just not picking up red very well. You see that there? There's the red. You see red? Anyway, it is Starline. So, it's a lizard, isn't it? But it's a, uh, what would you call this? I can't think of the name, but he's nice. Definitely worth like, I don't know, I don't want maybe 15, 20 quid for him. So you get your money back and some profit. And then stuff for your bundle. But yeah, he's nice. So, we did well again. We did well. These beauties. These they are little, little pins that will just go in the brooch bundle. And then, what else did we find? Mm. I had red stones and a cloisonne brooch, jasper, um, these, oh, magnetic, that's fine, these green glass faceted ones. Another little brooch or um, hematite. These are and our random little banded amethyst. More brooches. So not bad. What in total did we spend? We spent five ninety nine on the jewelry bag, and then four pound on the on the eBay bundle. So and then I think there was like two pound fifty postage on it. The postage was really cheap. So let's just say a 10 or 11 pound. So we did. We've done really not bad at all. Really happy with this bundle as well. Well, I hope you like it. I have, um, do I have another jewelry bag? Yeah, I think I, yeah, I've got another jewelry bag from the charity shop to go through. Um, and some, uh, coral to test. I found some coral, so we're going to test that to see if it is dyed, which I think it is, but it'd be fun to fun to do a test anyway, to show you how I test the things anyway. Well, thank you for watching, and I will upload again soon. Bye!